YouTube tells me that 92% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So it would really mean the world to me if you would just press the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's up? It's your host with the most entertaining people like you from coast to coast, Wayman Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to get waves with short hair. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you go subscribe and join the aquarium. And whether you're new here or not, make sure you go press the like button right now. Cool, let's get right into it. All right, so how to get waves with short hair? First, we need to answer the question, how short is too short? To answer that question, you need to understand how waves are formed. Also, you need to understand what waves are in the first place. Waves are basically just curls that you stretch out and lay down on your hair. Think of it like this. Have you ever seen a slinky before? It's all curled up, right? Or like one of those old phones with the cords. Now, just imagine stretching those curls out. What happens? Those curls start to turn into waves. Is it starting to make sense now? Now, back to the original question. How short is too short for waves? Your hair needs to be a certain length to curl up. Everybody has a different curl length, so you need to pay attention to your own hair. If it's at the curl length, cool. If not, you'll need to wait a little longer. One way to figure this out is by knowing your hair type. There's plenty of charts online that'll show you the different hair types. Find one that looks like yours to determine when your hair will start curling. Hold up, let me mix it up real quick. Let me tell you a quick story. When I first started, I made the mistake of cutting my hair too short. I was frustrated because the waves just weren't forming. But once I learned my curl length, everything changed. So trust me, knowing your hair type is crucial. Now let's look into the tools that you'll need. First up, brushes. My recommendation is that you head over to smoothstyles.com and grab you a high quality brush like this one. You can use my promo code WAVEMAN for a discount. A good brush is essential because waves require consistent brushing. On another note, I just got these brushes too. These are from the Cut Buddy and these are the Nick Wavy Collection. I got the soft bore bristle brush right here. I got the hard nylon bore brush bristle brush right here. Hold up. Ooh, look at that. No, nah, that, that's really crazy. Hold up. Now I want to see this one. Let's see what it looked like. No, that is correct. Look at this. You can get one of these brushes from thecutbuddy.com too. And you never want to miss out on the opportunity to get a discount. Make sure you use mine. My Cut Buddy discount is Waveman Mike. There's no spaces. So whether you're getting a Smooth Styles brush or a Cut Buddy brush, you can go to smoothstyles.com, use my discount code Waveman, or you can go to thecutbuddy.com and use my discount code Waveman Mike. Y'all see, I got y'all covered. All right, but before you brush, you'll need some products. You don't really need extreme hold. For shorter hair, odds are you're just getting started out. Why not? get started with the right products. Right here, I have this hair growth serum. Just look at this. You can see they give you instructions and everything. You probably already know how a serum works, but you just squeeze the tip, let it go, and then it fills up like that. You see that? And then this is also by the Wave Essentials. This is a pomade butter, but I'm sure you've seen me use this one like a thousand times because I use it in all my videos. So let me just put this one away. To apply the products, just rub them in your hands, just like you would any other time and then rub them in your hair, following the same direction that you would when you brush. Speaking of brushing, I'm not sure if you know how to brush your waves yet. I'll make videos specific to different wave patterns. Make sure you subscribe. You don't wanna miss those videos. Whether you're looking to get 360 waves, 540 waves, 720 waves, or just 180 waves, all of those videos are coming up in the future. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Now let's talk about haircuts. If you're serious about getting waves, make this your very last short haircut. You shouldn't even need this video right now because your hair shouldn't be short. Waves look better with long hair. Hair. For coarse hair, I recommend a two with the grain or higher. For medium hair, I recommend a two and a half or three or higher. These are just general recommendations, so it can vary from person to person. Brushing is very essential, especially after a haircut. I recommend brushing for at least one hour if your hair is short. You could break it up into sections, but make sure you get at least one hour total for the day. This is pretty crucial for forming waves. I'm gonna take a quick second to say, make sure you like the video if you haven't already. It really helps out my channel. If the video is 10 minutes long that means it took me 30 minutes to record it and another like five hours to edit it all i ask of you is to spend one second to press the like button did you do it yet see how easy that was all right good after brushing you'll need a do-rag after brushing you'll need a do-rag after brushing you'll need a do-rag after brushing 
you'll need a do-rag. After brushing, you'll need a do-rag. You can find them at any store or online, but look, I got you covered. The Cut Buddy has do-rags too. Use my promo code WAVEMANMIKE. Remember, there's no spaces. Go get one. A do-rag helps save your progress and protect your waves. I prefer these silkier satin do-rags because they're just more comfortable and they're better for your hair. Also, if you get headaches really easily, you probably would prefer do-rags over wave caps. I mean, a lot of times I just throw on a wave cap. There's so many different types of wave caps, so many different types of do-rags. We'll get into those in later videos. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss those later videos. Trust me. Okay, let's recap the steps. Go to either Smooth Styles or the Cut Buddy and get a brush. Get some type of products. I recommend you get in oils, moisturizers, butters, and pomades. You know, the essentials. Apply those products in your hair, then brush your hair, then put on a do-rag to save the progress. Only apply the products maybe like two or three times a week, but brush every single day. Something I always like to say is the do-rag is kind of like a save button in a video game. A lot of games have auto-save now, but just think about before auto-save. If you spend all your time playing the video game, you have to press the save button. If you don't, everything you did was for no reason. It's the same thing with brushing your hair, especially when it's short you need to make sure you put your do-rag on after you finish brushing or else all the work that you just did is for no reason and then also the do-rag protects your hair too so whether you're sleeping showering or swimming make sure you wear it if i missed any tips make sure to leave them in the comment section below your input really does help everybody out also if you have any questions make sure to drop those down below too i'll try my hardest to answer all of them oh wait before i go i want to share something brushing is the most important step to getting waves and for short hair you need to brush much more more frequently. Like I said before, aim for at least an hour a day. To make it easier, you can either break it up into four sections, all of them would be 15 minutes long, or you can break it up into two and those will both be 30 minutes. Just see which one works best for you. Consistency is key with waves. Also, make sure you're brushing with the same angles every time, especially when your hair is short. It's so easy to change things up. Like whenever somebody tries to change their pattern, they always cut it short, right? Because it's much more manageable, which means you need to pay special attention attention to it now. Also, while we're going back for the products, make sure you don't use like a heavy amount. Your hair is pretty short anyway. You can already distribute it pretty evenly, even if it's just a light layer. You could rub it in your hands to warm it up and then it'll spread pretty easily. A little bit goes a long way, especially when your hair is already short anyway. All right, well, that's the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to drop a comment down below. Remember, if they ask you who I am, I'm Wave Man Mike, so subscribe, drop a comment, and don't forget to like. Enjoy your day.